Are you looking forward to it? I am. I, I kind of just want to get going. You know, I think once I'm over that that little ledge there, I'll be okay. But that's that's like a hell of a drop down there. So I see you guys have got a new album coming out in October, and some of the tracks: uh, Madness, Panic Station, Survival, Save Me. Was it written with this zip wire in mind? I'm feeling all of those things right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be going through your head as you're going down that wire. It definitely saved me. <laughs> for sure, yeah. Um, of course, news have played here about as many times as we have an FA Cup final. I think we've had about 83 finals in the history of the stadium. So you're, you're no stranger to Wembley, are you? No, we've played here. Uh, we did two nights in 2007 and two nights in 2010. So, uh, yeah, and I've been to a lot of football here as well. You know, I've seen England play here probably 15, 20 times. So... Yeah, very, very familiar surroundings, but just not, not from the air. <laughs> and were they nerve-wracking experiences when you play in a stadium? And how's it, how's it compared to how you're feeling right now? Yeah, well, 2007 was the first, it was the first stadium gig the band had done, you know, let alone Wembley. So, you know, it was obviously very special being, being in England, being from our home country. And, uh, but it was very terrifying, yeah. yeah. We were very nervous. I think the second time when we came back, we were a bit more familiar with playing stadiums and... Yeah, you know, it probably was a better show because we were a bit more comfortable with, with the sheer amount of people that were here, you know. OK, well, we don't want to delay the inevitable any longer, Chris. Uh, if you want to <laughs> make your way over to see Carl, cool. and uh, good luck and enjoy it. I'm, so if you want to go next, it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, whatever, honestly, yeah. Come on. Bell's ground crew over. Cool. Happy? Yep. Right. So, I'll just give you the quick brief that I've just told those guys. Okay. What are you going to do? I initially just hold on to these two straps. Right. Yeah. You're not hanging on for grim death, it's just yeah. something to do when you're walking down. Once you get clear of this sort of first bank balcony here, if you want to have a wave, that's absolutely fine. When you get to the halfway line, what I'd look to do is just get your hands across your chest. Right. Sit back, and what you're trying to avoid doing is hitting yourself in the face. Right. As as be prepared, there's a bit of a stop. It's not, it's not a rough one by any means, but there's a bit of a stop, so just sit back. Keep your hands nice and low and you'll be absolutely fine. For the halfway line? Yeah, the halfway line. When you get to the far end, there'll be a guy throwing you a yellow line, so just watch out for that because yeah. they're going to pull you in. And if okay, for some cool. reason you get stuck in the middle, which you won't do, but if you were to get stuck in the middle, don't worry, we'll come and get you. Okay, cool. All right, champion. Happy? Yep. All right. Awesome. Just walk okay. down yeah. there. Yeah. Look at that. Jesus. <laughs> Which one? Yeah. Really cool. Excellent. Just take a step forward for me. A little bit that. <laughs> Get that one as well. Right, nice one fella. If you go that way, yeah? Yep. 
and then go up the steps and it's kind of a all the way around type of thing. Right. Go that way, do they? This way? Yeah, sorry. Hey Chris, how are you doing? Alright. You alright? Can I give you just to just to stand up? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Sake, can you just uh, Enjoy that? No, it's wicked, yeah. Really good. Nice one. Have a good one. Can you get it? Oh, there we go. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your son's apparently healthy. Yeah, yeah, I think he's next, yeah. But it's about to get you to, yeah, just look at Glen for us. Yep. Uh, and just face your body round just a little bit so I can get you more of your face, that's it. This is live, I think. It's live, is it? Alright, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. so, um, so turn it straight the interview now. Do you want me to take it? Chris, you've just uh, been the first person to launch themselves <laughs> down the Wembley zip wire. How did you find that? Uh, it was great. I think the, the worst bit was actually just having to thrust yourself off. I was kind of hoping someone would give me a push. And uh, you obviously have to make that move yourself. So uh, that was the worst bit. I think once you get over that little ledge and you're kind of halfway above the, the pitch, it's, it's amazing, yeah. Totally what, what was it like at the very top of the wire? I mean, it looks quite high from up here. It's, it's a lot higher up there than it is down here. It's, it's kind of weird. You've got that, that bit there and it's, a just, it's just such a drop down. You know, it's, it's pretty terrifying, but it's all, you know, it's all fine once you're going. You know, once you're moving, it's fine. It's sitting there for 20 minutes just watching where you're going to go is, is awful. Have you done anything like this in the past? Like, are you a bit of an adrenaline junkie? No, not at all. I'm quite the opposite, really. I think, uh, I, think I was the only person in my class at school that bottled the abseiling on the residential trip. So I'm, I'm kind of useless with heights. I'm not, I'm not good with them at all. So I've, I've kind of surprised myself by doing this, really. Well, you seem to enjoy yourself. Uh, your arms were waving around there. You were cheering. Yeah, I think with all this gear on, you feel, you feel pretty safe. You know, there's not really any danger of falling off. So, uh, yeah, it was great. Amazing. Uh, you played at Wembley, obviously, a couple mm. of times from Muse. I mean, how does this compare? Well, it's a lot emptier. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a totally, totally different vibe, obviously. I mean, it's kind of nice to actually see the stadium from a different angle, you know. Um, you might actually want to hang around, Chris, because I think the next person we've got coming down the wire is, uh, is your son, Alfie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how do you think he'll do? I think he's up there doing TV interviews, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, I don't think he knows about that yet, but I think he's getting cornered by the TV people, so. Uh, this uh, zip wire is now part of the uh, unique Wembley Tour experience, so now you've done it, would you recommend someone to follow in your footsteps? Oh, absolutely, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, you'll never get to see Wembley like that ever again, so, uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. Cheers, Chris. I think we're going to go back up to the top and uh, find Alfie on his way down. <laughs> nice one. Thanks, Glenn. We're here with Chris's son, Alfie. Alfie, welcome to Wembley. Is this the first time you've been here before? Yeah, I've been here loads of times before. Cheers, Chris. Nice one. Cheers. I've been here a couple of times watching and play some music here as well. Okay, so you're pretty much a regular to the stadium? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. What was the last football match you saw here? Um, did you ever think you'd be flying across the stadium on a um, zip wire? No, I wouldn't, no. Something, so, something pretty cool to be doing in the summer holidays. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. And uh, is this something you're going to be telling your friends about when you get back to school? Yeah, I've already told some of my friends and they're like, oh my God. So well, you, yeah. a few of them might be watching you at the moment on the internet? Uh, maybe, yeah, I think so. Okay. Cool. All right then, well, enjoy yourself and we'll let you yeah. enjoy the zip wire. Come on!
You've just been part of a, a unique father and son experience. How did you find that? Uh, it was scary at first, but when you start get going, it you get like really excited and it's like unreal. It's like really like really happy moment. And were you nervous beforehand? Yeah, I was quite nervous, but I got over it. <laughs> I hope you're not scared of heights. No, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with stuff like that. Yeah. You seem to be a bit smoother than your dad. Your dad seemed to pick up a bit of speed towards the end, but you seem to be quite uh, level all the way through. Yeah, you know, it's quite, because my dad's heavier, it's because it goes faster and stuff. Because, of course, well, I was a bit worried, because I'm still light, I'll get stuck in the middle of it. And hopefully, like, I'm happy I didn't. <laughs> Were you scared at all? Um, not really. It is good, yeah. And what did you make of your dad's attempt? Uh, I'm happy he went first, because I, if I went first, I'd be so scared. And, yeah. Thanks a lot, Alfie. 